with my team uh, to take a look at the property. Howdy. Yes. Um, this is um, Jeff Bob. <laughs> and this is Tank. Oh. I'm a driver. Right. Shall we take a look inside, boys? Look at this mm -hmm. lovely pristine gate. Oh, yes, yes. You're an expert on gates, aren't you? Take more hold me. Nice. See, my boys know their stuff. I don't have a clue about any of this. I just, you know, I just talk about it. Yeah, yeah. nice tree. For a dog to um, have sex do on. some. Yeah. Oh, keep, it, keep it clean, please. That this was is me. going out before the watershed. That was me, sorry. Fireplace. <laughs> oh, I say, I say. It does look rather nice, actually. Could roast some yeah. pork and marshmallows on there. Yeah, <laughs> roast some pork. <laughs> Mr. Randolph Edwards really did well here, didn't he? Yes. Um, and, oh, yes, of course. Um, the satellite television dish. Uh, could we have some um, insights on this, Jeff Bob? Well, he used to like uh, Sky Sports, especially oh. um, windsurfing. Oh, yeah. With gorillas on the top. Of course, he got a perfect time yeah. windsurfing once, didn't he? <laughs> yes, he caught them waves. Nice Where did Max go? There's a little doggy in the field. Oh, really? Doggy? Oh. Yeah. So there he is. There is. It's going down to the lake, oh, yeah. to the river. I mean, where's Tank? <laughs> where's Tank? Oh dear, he's not in trouble. Oh, is yeah, he? I flip reverse between English and American. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> he was born on the border. I, I was born on the border. Oh. Near Samoa. Oh dear, where's Tank got to? Look at these lovely garage doors. Oh. You can hide a Buick or a stash of lanterns in there. <laughs> Oh, here's Tank. He's been doing a scope <laughs> behind the scenes. I've just been out the back. <laughs> What's out the back, Tank? Oh, bad plumbing, mate. Bad yeah. plumbing. Shall we take a look at the bad plumbing? Yes. Come on. Why not? It's looking good. I'll watch the front, lads. Oh, yeah. spe speak <laughs> speaking of bad. The next door is getting really keeping the water very carefully, so I'll keep my phone. Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon that's <clears throat> for? Um. Uh, I don't... Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we should be leaving now. <laughs> <laughs> Just get one shot. It's nice, actually. Look at this serene little field. It's a lot bigger looking. Oh, you can I breed see. calves and foxes. Oh, there was a in this field. Oh, in that yeah. garden, because they broke in. <laughs> oh, and with these slabs we could build a nice oven, couldn't we? Yes. Like a nice, a nice wood oven and make us some pizzas Just for dinner. Roast a lantern. Yes, or a Buick. Ah, <laughs> the house that Hawkey built. Yes, um, Hawkey did himself proud. Don't here. film me. I'll sue you. Huh? Oh, really? Right. Really? House. Yeah. Get, get the sign. Get the sign. <laughs> Ryan House. Yeah. Yes. Well, this place is haunted, right? This place is haunted. I know because there's a ghost in there, like, and I think, and there's no one living there, so it's obviously haunted. So why don't you ask? No, I'm filming me. Oh, no, no, wait. He won the Tour de France in 1987. Yeah, look, he's got skid marks up his back. Yes, that's uh, Pierre. <laughs> Van got that silly voice. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, no, no. He he he, he won the Tour. He did Tour de France. Yes, that's Pierre Van. Great hand. Yes. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so why don't you ask the guy next door? Um, I'm not. I don't think we should. I think um, we don't have the licensing permit. No, to do that kind of thing. Where are we going uh, now, I, I, th I thought it would have come through by now. I mean, yeah. you did post the application form, didn't you? Yeah, but you know what like postmen are like. They're so corrupt. Oh, yes. Can't trust oh, them. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. You know, I met a postman once who I lent him a £5 note, a crisp £5 note. I thought he'd give it back because he, he had a respectable job and everything. But then I found out the next week he'd moved house oh. to Uzbekistan oh. to avoid paying me That's back typical. a fiver. That's typical. Oh, and I had to send Tank out to Uzbekistan for me. But he only got as far as Hastings. Yeah, no, there's water on the other side of that. I couldn't get through it. I'd really drowned. I remember when Paul Ryan...
Robinson of Morrison's one Seafood Retailer of the Year, 2009. He thought he could never defeat the mighty Sainsbury's. And I remember when it was announced, the camera panned to him, and he was like, oh! And then he walks up to the stage to collect his award, there it is. And, oh yes, he had tears in his eye. And the Sainsbury's table were giving him evil looks, but they bounced off him like arrows off a titanium shield. You know? And his speech was so beautiful. His speech was this. What a catch. Those three simple words encapsulated everything. The joy, the trials and tribulations he'd faced in getting to that point. And of course, the knowledge that this beautiful trophy would be in his cabinet for many a year. I wonder what he would say if he was here now. Oh, I miss being on Neighbours, I do. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's not being Neighbours. I used to, I used to shake Lucy all the time. Oh and dearie me! Harold down the waterhole! Oh dearie me, I think he's a bit of an uncouth roustabout, actually. Look at the ladies up there with this weird fish. Oh! It's uh, cold uh, as well! Uh, People uh, stick hammers on my face! Um, uh, anyway, moving swiftly on, um, over, here, oh, over here, we have uh, Jeff Bott, the antiques expert. Um, would you like Hello, to say sir. a few words? Yes, Paul Robinson was a good man in his day. He caught many a trout, like the one you can see there, and, um, but he didn't have not a patch on me, no siree. I did antiques very well, I did, yes. And that concludes our business for today. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for coming. Okay, so tell me, how much do you know about this company? Well, um, I've, I've heard that it started on the internet as some kind of file sharing scheme. And, uh, yeah, that's right, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay, yep, yeah. so you've done your own work, I like that, I like that. Now, on your CV, I can see that you used to work for Phil Tuffman as his PA. Now, I ain't like toughers, all right? Um, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, I like a laugh, yeah? yeah. However, I run a tightly oiled ship here. <laughs> don't want any messing about. Are you in? No. Are you in? No. No. Yeah, I'm not going to mess about, I promise. Okay. okay. There's going to be long hours as well. I, I, I can work. You might have to work 17 work. hour shifts, all right? Do you think you can handle the pressure? Say, um, 17 hours? Yes. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, it's going to have to be 17 hours on a Sunday and a Thursday. Right, but on a Tuesday... Sunday? Yes. Oh, um, well, actually, I'm going to have to take my mother to my summer build. Can't yeah. you do that on Saturday? Come um, on. She, she, she can't walk. Well, I'm giving you an opportunity here. Come on. Have you come here? Have you come on a train all the way from Halifax just to tell me you can't work Sundays? <laughs> I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. Oh, right, I'm sorry, there's only one thing for it. You've only left me with one option. <laughs> You got Jimmy on your chest. Jimmy! No!